Hi and welcome. Today I want to show you how to make such a slightly distorted soft pad sound on a Waldorf Blofeld. Actually this patch isn't that complicated, so let's start immediately. I'm going to start with a completely new patch. And we are going to need only one oscillator, which is also responsible for this slightly distorted sound, because we are going to derive this directly from a wavetable. I'm going to choose wavetable um, 36. Which is this one. Now let's set this oscillator to 16 foot. You can already hear this um, distorted nature of the sound. But now let's modulate um, the wavetable with some parameter. Let's choose the initial position of the pointer as 63, which is the middle position. And as you may know, the pulse width parameter is um, the pointer which points to the different entries in the wave list of the wavetable. This is the right parameter and we are going to modulate this pointer with LFO2 with an amount of 53 for instance. And just as always when I'm working with wavetables, I'm increasing the brightness with the brilliance parameter. And the brilliance adds a bit more uh, dirtiness and digital artifacts, um, which are known from, let's say, from the microwave or even from the PPGs. And here comes a trick. We are going to use the unisono feature of the Blofeld to make the sound wider and brighter and spread um, the voices in the stereo panorama, right? So let's choose a decent unisono with only two parallel voices and just a slight detune of 10. <laughs> I'm going to come back to this later. Now let's move on to the filter. Filter 1 can be a low pass with 12 dB, so a slightly softer low pass than the 24 dB type. And let's decrease the cutoff to 43. <laughs> and increase the amount of effect from the filter envelope to the filter cutoff with the envelope amount parameter, let's say 38. Well, this sounds more like a bass, bass sound than like a pad sound. So now let's have a look on the filter envelope, which we have to change, of course. Let's increase the attack to 90, the decay to around 80, release also 80. And now let's add some small sustain like 60. This sound is cut off immediately when I release the keys because we have to change the amp envelope as well. As you may know, everything goes through the amp envelope, no matter what. So let's change the attack here as well to about 80 and the release to 90. Yeah. 
This is already a decent pad sound, but the modulation is a bit too, too heavy for me. So I'm going to reduce the speed of LFO 2 to 13. And now you have a beautiful, slow and evolving modulation. And as the next step, I want to introduce um, more uh, vibrator to the sound with the mod wheel. We can do so by going to the modulation matrix, choosing LFO1 with the modulation wheel as the modulation source, and of course pitch as the de destination parameter. And let's say we increase the modulation amount to 15. And now we can modulate um, the vibrator with the mod wheel. The next modulation we can use is the aftertouch. And aftertouch is called pressure here in this machine. So let's choose pressure in modulation slot 2. And let's modulate the speed of LFO2. With the aftertouch, which gives us even more control over the sound. As you may know, LFO2 is responsible for the modulation of the wavetable so that we get a modulation of um, well of, of the characteristic of the sound. We can finish the sound with some flanger and reverb effect. So let's go to effect slot 1 and choose the flanger. Let's mix in the, the effect. Make it a bit slower with the speed of 10 and depth of 90. And as you may have heard, this effect is too too heavy and too brutal. What you're hearing actually is a lot of feedback and this causes this almost bellish like sound. So that's a clear signal in the flanger and um, also when you're using the phaser that the feedback parameter is too high. So let's decrease it just to 100. And a reverb will finish the sound. So let's go to effect slot 2, mix in the reverb as well. And the reverb and the blowfield is normally very metallic and less organic, but we can improve this with some tweaking. Let's increase high pass to 5, low pass to 50 and let's change the diffusion 
to 100, size also to 100, shape to zero. And this gives us a nicer reverb. It's still not perfect, but it's way better than the standard setting. But wait, I said something about unisono and voice spreading. Remember that? So let's go back to our modulation matrix and let's choose modulation slot 3. And now you can use uh, the unisono voice number as a modulation source for voice spreading. And remember that the modulation destination should be the panorama uh, modulation, modulation destination of the filter, which is the final outgoing filter of the of the sound. So when filter one goes directly into filter two, you have to modulate filter two. If filter one is the outgoing filter, you have to modulate the panorama of filter one. And now we can just modulate it with maximum amount. We can also compare it to the, the standard setting. And that's a very nice trick to make especially pads more bright and more um, and, and softer and more impressive. And that's the whole patch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like, make a comment and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos of the Blowfield and also consider to join as a member to my channel. There you can get access for instance to um, even more videos. You can um, get a link to download the uh, modulation simulator for the blowfield which I wrote. Um, you can get access even to patches which I created for the blowfield and many more features. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.